Now, here's the thing about the King of Wands, because I feel like you're settling into a period or an energy right now, Aries, in which the King of Wands energy is you. And some there are going to be people that are going to be around you that are going to look at you like you're selfish or maybe even like you're crazy for setting such strong boundaries. Okay, maybe not allowing it to go to your head, maybe not allowing yourself to be too egotistical, too full of yourself, too demanding, too self-centered, but ultimately I do feel like this is a good place for you to be in because ultimately it's gonna help you get what you want. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your general energy reading for April of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking about anything here from career to love, money, uh, family, and we could really be talking about anything. This is not geared uh, in any specific way. This is meant to just give you general messages for what could be going on in your life this month or just what could be going on in life in general yeah please take please keep in mind that this also could be maybe if this is a love situation for you or you're dealing with a bunch of other people we could be talking to a cross watcher so keep in mind that the roles can be reversed basically take it as it resonates please do not try and fit anything into your life that doesn't fit naturally yes so for this month, um, I have decided to go with the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And then because we're in the spring season, yay, I was feeling like it was, it, I was feeling called to close out the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. Yes? All right, Aries, let's get into this here. So um, I have a bit of a pre-shuffle here for you. And I like what I'm seeing here for you. I, I want to say that I feel like you're in a really good place right now. Um, I feel like what you really need to be doing is just falling back and allowing yourself to feel happy, allowing yourself to feel content. You have the Nine of Cups here, which I feel like is the focus of the month for you. Uh, whatever it is, wherever it is you find yourself in your life right now, there is a level of understanding. There's, I'm also hearing commitment but there's also a level of satisfaction. Um, and I do kind of feel like you're keeping to yourself this month, that's what I'm hearing. Or maybe you've just been in a cycle like that up until now, and I feel like maybe you may be settling into a deeper understanding of what truly makes you happy and what truly brings you contentment and fulfillment. You have this with the Three of Wands, the Four of Swords, and then finally at the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. Wow, the King of Wands with the King of Swords with the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Uh, wow, Aries. Holy moly. Um, I really feel like you're pretty unstoppable right now, Aries. Oh. You've come to a pretty solid foundation. Uh, I'm hearing an, a foundation, a solid foundational mindset, Four of Swords. I feel like you have a ch you have a ton of clarity right now, Aries, and that's really not going to allow anyone to really bother you, maybe even get under your skin or really shake you, okay? And this is mainly because you have you have the with the King of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords here. You have a sense of emotional understanding and emotional clarity. And then also I'm hearing and feeling mental clarity for you. You've been doing a lot of work probably to help tame your ego here. Eight of Pentacles to the to strength. Um, but that's why I kind of feel like no one's really going to be able to shake you to get under, to get under your skin. I, I want to say things like you're unstoppable, Aries. Okay. And you know where it is you're going on your path. I feel like um, you really need to allow yourself to rest or at least keep your mind clear because, uh, or maybe you've gotten to this place. And so that's allowing you, to, uh, allowing you to see very clearly where it is you're going on your path. Some of you may be facing a change in direction. <laughs> I just heard a change in the universal energy. So there could be a change in the universal energies that is helping guide you into the right place. But ultimately, I feel like you're feeling really good right now, Aries. Okay? This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Sorry, guys. I had to pause for a second because, of course, 
now that I'm sitting down to channel, my nose is acting up. Anyway, um, I just, I honestly, Aries, I just feel like you're in a really good place right now. Again, I feel like you're unstoppable, but you're unstoppable because you have come to a place where you're very solid within yourself. Like I said earlier, there is an energy here of either being in a period of, I, I just heard death and reconstruction, having been in that and now coming out of it, emerging out of it, or maybe you're still kind of in this process right now, but at least if you're still in this phase, by this point, it feels like you have become very solid within yourself. And that's why you're unstoppable or unshakable. It's really what the feeling that I'm getting here, especially with this Seven of Wands, is no, there aren't, like, people aren't going to be able to come into your reality and shake you with their opinion. Because you're so solid in yourself, you're so solid in what it is you want and what it is you're after, what it is, what it is you're doing on your path here, that no one's going to be able to unshake you. To, nobody's gonna be able to shake you again you're unstoppable okay and this is a really good thing this is a very good thing very secure very solid very stable within yourself i like this a lot for you aries yeah look at that justice just came out uh justice is being served here there could be some people around you that may have been deceptive tom foolery trickery lies deceit um, or maybe just some situations around you that have been deceitful and it seems like they could be getting their comeuppance. You now have judgment here. Um, I feel like also for some of you that for judgment that just came through here, I feel like most of the ooh, most of the reason why there is justice being served in your life is because you did what it is you needed to do. You followed a, holo, a higher calling to take a step back and rise above the situation somehow. Work on raising your vibration somehow. And that is serving you very, very well. Justice is being served in your life. I, please excuse the sniffles, you guys. This is one of those things that, <laughs> that us channelers have to deal with. I swear, I have been fine all day long. But then as soon as I sat down to start channeling, like even when I was sitting down, you know, um, just getting everything together, once I started recording, once I pushed that record button and I started channeling, here come the the sniffles. Yikes. All right. Let's get into the rest of your reading here and see what else, what other messages we have for your month. Hold on just a second. All right. Let's get into the rest of this here. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of general energies for Aries for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Aries, let's get into this here. Five shuffles for you. One. Two. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April of 2021. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Aries. Let's get into this here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you. We have the fool. Okay. So you're starting a new journey. Uh, I feel like you've definitely been in an energy or, or a, a, a time period, a cycle in which um, you have been able to become very clear on what it is you want, or at least clearer on what it is that you want, or at least cleared up a lot of blockages or barriers to you feeling some sort of happiness and contentment. And now you are at, an, an, at, a, you are at a level you are in a place where you can take a leap of faith, move forward in a new direction. This also, Aries, I'm feeling like 
This just feels like the freedom to be yourself or the freedom feeling free enough or at least feeling mental, having enough mental clarity to understand that you could do whatever it is that you want. This is uh, this fool energy here is feeling is feeling like a strong sense of just freedom and maybe I just heard also unconditional love for the, for yourself, which is wonderful. Underneath the fool is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, underneath the Queen of Pentacles, there's that Queen of Cups again, and then underneath the Queen of Cups is the Chariot. There's this strong feeling here, Aries, of number one, understanding your worth not allowing anyone to devalue you, understanding your value, what it is you bring to the table, who it is you actually are in this lifetime, and also having a sense of emotional understanding. I did I did hear emotional maturity, but and that that mostly is is represented by the king of cups, but here this emotional stability and foundation and awareness would definitely speak to some sense of emotional maturity, especially when coupled with the queen of pentacles. Okay? But all of that is setting you up to really move forward and do what it is you want to do. Underneath the chariot, there you are, the, the emperor, okay? Underneath the emperor is the devil and then the high priestess to the eight of cups, okay? Eight of pentacles and then the ten of, woo, the ten of swords, um, the ten of swords, and then the tower is under that too. So, or at least the ten of swords is, I'm sorry, the tower is under the ten of swords. It's under the four of cups, but... The Four of Cups didn't want to be seen. It's actually the tower that wanted to be seen. But what I feel like here is going on for you, Aries, is that you've uh, you've started to see past a lot of the illusions of the devil, okay? And because of that, it helped you, it's helping you walk away from things that no longer serve you and really work on what would serve you. It, uh, this Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles energy is giving me a sense of working on your self-mastery. Working on you, working towards the things that you really want, okay? This is really excellent energy for you, Aries. I like this a lot. So let's continue. Let's get into the first half of your reading here. Yes, first set of surrounding energies for you, Aries. We've got the Page of Wands. All right, so you may be re I, I get a very strong feeling, Aries, that you're about to change the game. You're about to switch it up on some people re-identify yourself come out of the come out of maybe a sense a period of what could be considered hiding or recuperating i just heard balancing yourself out and coming out of that with a sense of strong a strong idea of who who it is you really are i feel like this page of wands energy is you setting new rules for yourself and and rules for individuals that are going to be in your life okay and this is all coming from this sense of emotional awareness and stability and then also knowing your worth and no longer, I mean, I want to say no longer devaluing yourself. I don't think you were ever really devaluing yourself. I think there may have been a situation in which you were allowing yourself to accept less than what you know you're truly worthy of, less than you know you're capable of receiving. And so now at this point, with this set of new rules here or this re-identification of self, I feel like that's changing. You are setting the record straight in some ways to let it be known that you're not going to accept anything less than what you are truly deserving of any longer. I also feel like this is actually going to be a pretty, uh, like a, a significant conversation that you're having. Some of you are going to have an actual sit down conversation or you're going to communicate this to people in some way just to like let it be known. I, I don't feel like you're doing it in a way that's like um, trying to cause too much turmoil uh, or maybe even overt about it. But should the, should the situation come up, the message will be sent and it will be sent very clearly. Page of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Cups. I feel like this Seven of Cups energy, Aries, is a past energy. I feel like this is what you're emerging out of. I feel like the Seven of Cups is all of the things that you've been processing and I feel like pur purging that you've been working on gaining this emotional clarity around. And because of that, now you... Literally, I keep hearing new rules. Like I'm hearing that that song "New Rules" by by um, Dua Lipa in my head right now. 
because of this. You are emerging out of a sense of confusion with a greater sense of clarity that's allowing you to move forward in a very new way and re-identify the way that you show up for people or the circumstances in your life. I like this. Second set of surrounding energies, Aries, in the first half of your reading, you have the lovers. This could mean love is coming to you. I feel like you could, some of you could be setting the stage for a better relationship to come into play, to come into your life. Um, but ultimately, if it's not love coming to you, this is you making a decision that's best for yourself. Choosing between two alternatives, one of them being fairly toxic, I'm hearing, the other one being something that serves your highest good. Making the decision for yourself. The lovers is coupled with, yeah, there you go. There's that three of wands again, okay? So however it is you're proceeding in your life right now, or at least in this period, you are making the choice that serves your highest, your higher vision is what I just heard, okay? Serves your highest good. Serves your, serves to, um, serves to what, Eric? Serves to facilitate your greatest potential. Yeah. All right, Aries. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here. Ha! There's the King of Wands again. Now, here's the thing about the King of Wands. Because I feel like you're settling into a period or an energy right now, Aries, in which the King of Wands energy is you. And some there are going to be people that are going to be around you that are going to look at you like you're selfish or maybe even like you're crazy for setting such strong boundaries. The thing about the King of Wands is that he is very confident in himself. And he is not the type of energy or, or he's, yeah, he's not the type of energy to allow himself to be told what he can or cannot do. Also, what I'm getting for you, Aries, in terms of the King of Wands energy is being able to sit back and await for the and, and wait and allow for the right time to strike or take action to come about instead of forcefully moving forward or moving forward too quickly. But the strongest and, and yes, that's going to be a challenge for some of you here, although I feel like this this period that you've been in of rest and maybe just like maybe an ego death. Um, and, and working through a lot of confusion, a lot of obstacles that have come up that you've needed to, to deal with, to feel through, to understand. That period has helped to teach you to just fall back a little bit and allow yourself to go with the flow instead of trying to be so driven. That's going to be a challenge for some of you. However, the strongest thing that I'm getting from this King of Wands energy here is... Okay, maybe not allowing it to go to your head, maybe not allowing yourself to be too egotistical, too full of yourself, too demanding, too self-centered, but ultimately, I do feel like this is a good place for you to be in, because ultimately, it's going to help you get what you want, okay? King of Wands is coupled with the Page of Cups. So what I'm getting here, the challenge for you, Aries, is being in this strong, confident, and strong-willed energy of the King of Wands, but still allowing yourself to be playful, still allowing yourself to, ha to hold on to a sense of innocence, still allowing yourself to lead with your inner child, also still allowing yourself to have a sense of compassion and understanding for others, and to not be too selfish. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading. You've got the Ace of Cups. This is a cup of self-love. There could be someone coming through here uh, sending a message or an offer of love. And actually, you could, be, you could be the one to be sending a message of love too. But this is a cup of self-love here. So the closing message that I'm getting for you right now, Aries, in the first half of your reading, this is you having found, having sense having found a sense of solidarity with self, which is allowing you to be in this energy of choosing what's best for you moving forward on your path, okay? Ace of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Swords. So, what I'm getting with this right now is that there are some of you that are still kind of struggling with what other people think or what other people say about you, or what um, could be, I'm hearing a, a mindset. The antidote 
to this Eight of Swords energy is that cup of self-love. Because ultimately, and I feel like this is something many of you have already come to terms with, all right? So that's potentially why it's your closing message or potential outcome. Um, the solve, the, the antidote to the remedy to this Eight of Swords energy is being able to love yourself enough to recognize or realize that you don't have to answer to anybody else. You don't have to approve or you don't need to have the approval of someone else for you to be just fine in your life. And I feel like many of you have come to the point now already where you understand that. Okay. This is wonderful, Aries. I really like this energy for you. Let's keep going here. Uh, hold on. Wait. A little thirsty. All right, Aries. Second half of your reading. Yes? First set of surrounding energies. You have the sun. Beautiful. Everything is coming up roses. Everything is really good for you. This is joy. This is happiness. This is contentment. This is no longer in fear. But, you know, I'm not going to lie, Aries. I feel there's some opposition in terms of the people around you. But that's okay. Because you don't need to be bothered by it. And I feel like these people around you are actually really quite jealous. That you've got it going on. That you've got the sun shining on you like this. That you just seem to have everything together. And everything is just working perfectly for you or something like that. It's like, it's almost as if... I just heard for some of you, it's like you seem to be living an idealistic or an ideal lifestyle and everyone else around you is like, it's just like, what the fuck? Why do they get to, well, why, why does Aries get to live this? Because Aries has been doing the work. Aries has been working on themselves. Aries isn't doing anything that anybody else can't. They're just choosing not to. So this, this, this is you shining, Aries, and you might be burning people with your shine. You might be blinding people with your shine. You know what? Sorry about it. Go get some sunscreen and go put some sunglasses on because I am damn sure not going to dim my shine just because you can't handle it. Period. End of story. The lovers and the three of wands. That is the path you're taking right now. That is how you're moving forward on your path. And quite frankly, you own it and you honor it and you deserve it. So take it. The sun is coupled with the... <coughs> Excuse me. The king of swords. Clarity, truth, honesty. And for some of you now, I'm feeling the reason why you're in this place is because you were brutally honest with yourself about what was going on in your life. What you needed to change, what you needed to handle, what you needed to deal with. This is you being unapologetically authentic. It is what it is, and it's, and it's never going to be anything different. Truth, honesty, integrity, letting your inner light shine for no other purpose than to just let it shine because it's naturally meant to do that. Sorry, I got to pause for a second. Okay, sorry about that. All right, uh, second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries. In the second half of your reading, you have the, the Nine of Cups again. This is great. This is absolutely great. But Aries, you feel like this because you're happy and content with yourself. You have... Okay, what I just heard was you have reduced your... You reduce the necessity for external validation to a minimum. For some of you, you reduce it to the, 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 the most minimum that is possible. And maybe it's just to the, mo to the minimum that is possible at this moment. That could change. You could continue on down the road and grow even more and need it even less. But this is why you're in this energy right now. You're feeling good, you're content, you're happy, you're healthy, you're feeling wholesome. You feel like you have everything you need, like you really don't need anything else. Because that, because you have found this within yourself, okay? The Nine of Cups is coupled with the, oof, the Knight of Swords. Uh, Okay, this, 
to me feels like you are not afraid to speak your truth. You are not afraid to cut somebody, cut somebody down or call somebody out should they do you wrong or something like that. And that's a beautiful place to be. Again, it's because you don't need that external validation. You are fine. You don't need it. So don't even come at me with some shit because I'm just going to cut you down. Because I really, quite frankly, I don't need you in my life. And I don't, and I'm not saying that to say, again, okay, so wait. Okay, so wait, Aries, here you go. There's that element of people thinking that you're selfish or egotistical or full of yourself. No, I don't need you in my life. Does that mean I don't want you in my life? No, but I definitely don't want you in my life if you're doing something to disturb my peace. Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 no. See, we're not playing that game any longer. Your challenge here, Aries, in the second half of your reading is the, ooh, is the Three of Cups. Social elements. Uh, I just heard rivalries could develop. There are going to be people that are going to be jealous of you. Point blank, period. They're going to be jealous. Because it's, and it's because of the work they didn't do. And now you're seeing, they're seeing you reap the benefits of it. And they just want to like cut you down or talk shit about you or whatnot. Like, whatever. What the fuck ever. Let them. It's their problem. They're only creating more karma, more drama for their own selves. Some of you may end up feeling like loners at this point. Or through this process right now. Some of you may feel like you don't line up with people any longer. Some of you may feel like the friends that you once had are no longer, you, you no longer vibe with them. You're no longer connected to them. And to be quite honest, that would be true, Aries, because you have been raising, rising above, rise, raising your vib vibration and doing something massively differently than you did in the past. Three of Cups is coupled with the, yeah, look at that, the Five of Wands, yup. There you go. There's the differing of opinion. There is the, the chaos, the tomfoolery. But this is, this is nothing. This is trivial. This is child's play, to be honest. Compared to where you are in your existence, compared to where you find yourself energetically, compared to this sense of happiness and contentment that you find yourself in right now, Yes, this shit is toxic. Yeah, okay. But it's minimal. It's minuscule. It's, it really, it really has no, it has little to no weight on you. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading. Yup. Ace of Swords. I'm hearing clarity, truth, honesty, seeing the big picture, seeing existence or seeing your circumstances for what they truly are nothing more and nothing less and i feel a sense of calm for you like not really not getting upset about it i mean well okay i'm not gonna say something won't piss you off i'm not gonna say something won't trigger something this that whatever but like not getting overly upset about it not stressing yourself out about it i guess Ace of Swords is coupled with, shit, yo, look at this, Aries, the King of Cups now. So there is the emotional maturity that I was picking up on and that I was speaking to when we were talking about the Queen of Cups, which is in the overall energy for you, all right? So you, this really has a lot to do with a sense of balance and harmony and union within yourself because you have both the King and the Queen of Cups here, and then you had the King and the Queen of Swords show up. The Queen of Swords actually is at the bottom of the deck here. And now the King of Swords has come out. And you've got, you've got this balance going on. But this, but this mental clarity for you, Aries, is absolutely contributing to your emotional security, your emotional foundation, your emotional awareness, and your emotional maturity. Because you understand, because you things, see things clearly, because you see things as they truly are, you are in a better position to handle whatever is going to come to you. Again, Aries, I feel like 
the theme of your reading or the theme of the message here for you for April is you are unstoppable. Okay. And it's not because you're super powerful, because you have an edge over someone else, this, that, and the third. Quite frankly, the only reason you have an edge over someone else is because you see clearly. You have got the mental clarity and you've got the emotional clarity to not let it bother you or to see it exactly for what it is. And you have the sense of contentment within yourself to allow yourself to take the action steps that you need to take to make sure that you're okay, you're happy, you're safe, you're healthy and unbothered. Yes? All right, Aries, let's get your closing oracle guidance here. I'm going to give this three shuffles. One. A closing oracle guidance, please, for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021. This is two. Three. All right. Here we go, Aries. Closing oracle guidance, please, Spirit. You have abundance. And I did just see 333 on the counter. Abundance. Enjoy the, pound, the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Let's read the message from the book. The unicorns bring you great blessings of abundance and invite you to open your arms wide to receive it all. They remind you that you live in a world of plenty. All of the prosperity you have ever dreamed of or desired is right here for you now. The resources you asked for are here in energetic form, waiting for you to allow them to manifest in your world. I'm going to sneeze again, excuse me. Or not. Okay. <laughs> Dare to believe and be open to receiving in unexpected ways. This rainbow unicorn calls on you to tear down the illusion of scarcity and know that you are an infinite being receiving from an infinite source in infinite ways. There is no such thing as, quote, too much to the universe. It is not greedy, selfish, or uninspirational to want a prosperous life full of riches and blessings. You do not, ha uh, you do not help anyone else to have more by blocking your flow Oh, right. Okay. You do not help anyone else to have more by blocking your flow and having less yourself. The universe is constantly expanding and creating, and waves of abundance are always flowing in your direction. When you are fully aligned with the divine, your prosperity grows and flows unchecked too. You are of greater service to the world when you are living in a state of abundance, freedom, and joy than when you are worrying about paying your bills. Live from this knowing today and let yourself receive. Feel the joy and positive expectation that comes with knowing abundance of all kinds is already here and more is on its way. Raise your thoughts, feelings, and energy into alignment with plenty. Give thanks for your wealth in advance Take aligned action when guided to and invite your bounty to pour in. But you see, that is speaking to this King of Wands energy. Because this King of Wands energy is fully confident in that sense of abundance. And I'll, quite frankly, he may come across as arrogant. But you know what? So the fuck what? I'm going to leave it there. There you guys have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. Um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I am available for that. Oh, wow. I completely forgot about all of that. Uh, I am available for private readings. So check me out. Uh, all of the information is in the description box below. Also, um, you can check me out on Patreon. Patreon no longer has uh, every uh, daily readings. Daily readings have now come back to YouTube in the form of morning coffee, but there's also a bunch of other stuff there. Also monthly love readings and extra readings, maybe some extended readings, this, that, and the third. So if you're vibing with me as a reader, go ahead and check out Patreon. We have a really like, we have a really good time there. Yeah. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with, with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>